Welcome everybody to the Hump Day Show. This we are part of the Three Way Podcast. Every Wednesday we come at you on YouTube and give you our latest reviews, top tens, gameplays, sex tapes, sex tapes, all of it. <laughs> Every hump day we come yeah, at yeah, you yeah. straight. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Now today we are doing the big one, the biggest one, biggest show all year. Thus, episode. Nine, <laughs> Rise of Skywalker yeah. is out and about. We seen it. We saw it. We now, talking about it. Now it's talking about it. Warning to everyone out there, this is a full spoiler cast. There will be nothing held back. If you haven't watched it, um, watch this anyways. <laughs> All right. So we begin. What we're going to go through is things we didn't like. Fuck this movie. <laughs> This is the worst fucking Star Wars movie that's ever been created. And, and you know why? Because of fucking uh, Ryan Johnson. Correct. They fucked this movie up so bad. He did. They were trying to uh, correct the shit he yes. did in Last Jedi, and they fucked this movie up. Fuck I, it. I agree with some of that you said. I Fuck don't think it's movie. the worst movie. We the started worst the- movie in the Star, War- Star Wars tr- like saga ever uh no i don't think it's the worst movie i think the last jedi yes takes... it is because this is supposed to be the last of one mm-hmm. of the skywalker saga the end of it all correct full circle yes and what the fuck did they do they put together a fucking jumbled up mess a bunch of garbage that didn't even make sense unless you understood like the first like original star wars movies and then a shit ton of fucking remember barry bullshit where you're like oh you remember this character well now he's back to die i'm like man fuck this movie dude i i fuck like you. the movie uh i think it I, abram had sorry to i've been fix. i've been holding this in for a minute i've, I've been wanting to talk I about see, star wars i see for a while. i see i see <laughs> uh, i think jj abrams like uh and i don't know if a lot of people realize this but he was fixing a lot of stuff yeah Throughout this movie, yeah. So it moves really quick. The movie um, is quick. I, I do You're going s- from next scene, next scene, next scene, next scene. And- I, I do want to say that J.J. Abrams. I have no quarrel with him. He came in late to to do this movie. The guy who originally was supposed to do it, uh, I think he either quit or got fired because of creative differences. But whatever the reason, it, yes, it was already planned. But this, it's terrible. Yeah. Um. And that's the la- that's the, sh- the, sh- the shame is The Last Jedi try to do things that not a lot of people agree with. So J.J. comes in and basically fixes things. Yeah. Like one thing that I like that J.J. did in this movie is he developed a lot of these characters. Okay. Uh, much more than I, 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 I rewatched The uh, Last Jedi before this. And there is no For what there's no there's like it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it. Um, and there's really other than Luke and Ray mm-hmm. and Kylo, mm-hmm. other than outside of those characters, there's no character development. So in this in, in uh, Rise of, of Skywalker, we see um, Poe delve some into his backstory Mm -hmm. although you only have one movie to do it so you can't really go too much into it right um i feel like uh uh, finn is just a a, the whole thing overall is just a shame how his character was handled i feel like he would have been a great character finn was like the most underused character ever in star wars yeah and it's a shame because he's Sad. almost in he, all the they, scenes. They fucking reduced him to fucking Sam the Wise from Lord of the Rings. Oh, Frodo, where are you going, Frodo? Ray, Ray, where are you going, Ray? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, my God. Fuck this movie, dude. Yeah, Finn it was badly up. But a lot of that goes to Last Jedi. Why didn't Last Jedi delve into Poe's past? Why didn't Last Jedi build Finn as a more interesting character instead of sending him to a uh, casino of Ryan Johnson? and saving some... <laughs> Some animals and then kissing one of the worst characters. Like we, we, don't, we, don't, to... we don't have to talk about how trash Last Jedi is, but now, <laughs> congratulations, Last Jedi. You're not the worst fucking movie. In the no, Star Wars the Last Jedi is still series. the worst. No, it's not. It's yeah, really not. It caused all of this. It's the it, worst movie. It, 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 it's, it's so bad that. The, okay, Last Jedi is bad. I'm not going to say it's not. It's the worst movie. But it's not the worst movie now because at least that one made fucking like like sense as in like it doesn't wasn't rushed. 
like shit happened. Yes, it, some of it was for no reason, but still, it, at least you can sit there and be like, okay, I, I know what's going on. In this one, what the fuck were they doing? Like they were just fucking on an adventure quest. Like they were playing a fucking video game. Like this yeah, is but, stupid. But he's the thing is, JJ doesn't have a whole second movie to build these characters and and build Ray's past. Like this he, movie, he has to do it all in it one was, movie. It would have helped them out if this movie was like three and a half hours as long as yeah, it would have helped out if he would have directed the second one and build these sto- the, those past in that movie mm-hmm. instead of having to do it all in one movie right because okay uh, ryan kills off snoke so you killed off the most menacing right and that's fine but what does what does then jj have to work with who is now the most menacing being because not only did he kill snoke but he made he made kylo double like he's not really that evil and he's not really that good like well in this one in this one i was uh i was so under... what what does jj have to work with he has Look, to bring I, back I'm, I'm not i'm not talking about jj like his directing style it, it is what it is this isn't on JJ. That's why I'm like I'm, I'm saying like I'm yeah. not on, on JJ on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the writing. No, the writing was bad. I, I, overall, the, some of the criticism I hear is okay. The movie's too fast paced. Well, yes, JJ's trying to roll everything up and fix everything that Ryan did. So he has no 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 choice but to fast pace the movie. Yeah. Uh, another criticism I hear is uh, introducing you know uh, Palpatine as race. Father Re- reintroducing Palpatine reintroducing. For, for the fucking like hundredth time. They cannot get over that fucking man's dick. <laughs> but all the electricity come all over JJ them. Have? Fuck Palpatine. Get out- over Palpatine. Palpatine's been there since fucking episode one, day one. Get the fuck over him. He's yeah. still there in fucking episode but nine. What, get why? What choice does 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 Abrams have? You took away no, no, his no. villain. I'm telling you, I have no problem with JJ. JJ yeah, yeah. is fine. What I'm saying to these fucking writers, these people that who put this shit together are fucking dumb. Like, what are you thinking? I like, okay, yes, you're bringing back an old enemy, but I I liked it. It was a it was a twist for me. And then Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren's character, uh, you see it from Force Awakens, Last Jedi, to Rise of Skywalker. You you pretty much see that he's it looks like he's killing off all his parents. He's gonna become this dark. Sidious person, or not even Sidious uh, Sith, because he's not a part of that. But you just see him growing as a more and more and more in the dark side. I, I was, I would have loved to see him go full dark side mm-hmm. into something that's beyond a Sith, something mm-hmm. different, uh, something that just goes away from a Sith, but you know, still in line with being that yeah, dark. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, they, they just kill him. They're like, who the fuck cares about you? Like, you're just here to die for Ray. Like, that's it. Get out of here. Yeah, but it, it does culminate. That connection that you start to see in the Last Jedi, which is one of the cool things that his, I, I his, like that his Ryan best did. moment in this film was when he sees he sees uh, Han Solo again. Yeah. Which which yes, of course that was supposed to be his mom, but because unfortunately uh, Carrie Fisher died, uh, they brought in uh, Han Solo, uh, aka uh, Harrison Ford, who, which who does not like Star Wars. I, I, give, <laughs> I was shocked to see him because I know how much he wants to go to be done with Star Wars. Yeah. I'm glad that he came back and did that final scene. Oh, yeah. He came uh, back, all right. So he, big, may, he may throw some cash. Yeah, <laughs> big ups to, to, to him. I, again, Ryan should have, I'm not trying to sound harsh, but Leia should have been done in the second movie. No, well, they, because bro, you, you, they, they literally they needed her. CGI'd her in. No, I know, but they needed her for no, this you don't one. Need her. Yes, you did. They you they need needed her because, they, like I said, they already wrote this in. They just needed to f- uh, find a way to put it all together, and they needed to put it her put her in this one because they needed her to be the one uh, why Kylo Ren dies and why Ben Solo comes back. Mm. That's why they needed so her. So that's the last link for Ben. And then on top of that, she's uh she has she's strong with the force. So it wouldn't make sense if they kept Harrison Ford alive until no, now. No, I was thinking keep Luke. Don't kill Luke in the in the second movie. Mm. Keep him. Keep Luke alive. People want Luke alive. Leia. I mean, you know, bless her heart. Yeah. But let let Leia go. The second movie. Keep Luke in as the last one to die in the last movie. But whatever. I overall like the movie. I like the twists and turns of it. I did not. Uh, 
I, I liked what JJ JJ had a, a cards dealt to him, and I think he made he made do with what he had, and I think he did a pretty good job. Uh, I was I yeah. was going in with low expectations, thinking this trilogy has is a fire truck on fire, a truck on fire. Mm-hmm. But I feel like Abram salvaged the the trilogy. I think he he did what he, the best he could with what he ha- had handed to him by Ryan. Johnson. Honestly, at this point, I'm ready to say the best trilogy out of all of them is one, two, and three, because one, <laughs> two, and three had the best like okay like like story progression of Anakin uh, of Anakin becoming please. like Darth uh, Vader. The final fight was amazing. No, it wasn't. Episode two was kind of trash. Uh, episode one is pretty cool for just for like two episode scenes. Episode one is like the and better ones. No, out if, of that. If we're ranking the first three, it's it's, it's episode three, one and two, but no, it's one, two and three. <sighs> That's this guy. No, one okay. three, one Anyways, three two, one look, three two. As far as like the way these trilogies go, episode one, two and three are like the best put together. Um, I did not like. The in, in the beginning you f- you you see the fucking crawl the Star Wars crawl and it's already uh, the dead speak uh, fucking Palpatine is back already yeah and but like, he has to rush the movie I he know. doesn't have time to develop I understand and introduce. Look, okay we're, let's get he over, has to get let's, right let's, into let's, it hey let's get over that all right the point is is this is this is how it was made this is how they wrote it mm-hmm. the point is is that they they fucked this up even there they're like as soon as I saw that crawl of like oh the dead speak I'm like. Okay, you made Palpatine the the main villain again. <laughs> I was already done with the movie by then. I, I liked the movie. I liked introducing that Ray uh, Ryan tried to say that no, she's she's nobody's daughter. Or I feel not that that was a bad decision, but J, you got to be consistent. And JJ yeah. kind of introduced that aura in the first movie. Just follow along with it. Stop trying to no. She has nobody as parents. Then JJ comes back and is like, yes, Palpatine's your fault. Like, uh, okay. Whatever. I mean, for me, I, I didn't like that he didn't continue anything from Last Jedi. He did. Because, no, no, no. What I'm saying is that he didn't, like, that whole situation with with Benicio Del Toro's character in Last Jedi, what happened to him? It was a trash character. Fucking. Why keep a crap trash character? What happened to him? I Who mean, cares? Why the fuck even introduce him Who, then? That's Ryan. That's Ryan's problem. The, that's not JJ's problem. No, you're you're not. That's not under, JJ's problem. You're not fucking understanding. What if Ryan could throw away half of what JJ did? You're not then understanding. How come he, Abraham Abram can do the same for Tim? It doesn't matter. The point is that you put these people, these characters in this no, film. Ryan didn't and then build you, up anybody. And then you want to go into the next film. Ryan didn't build up any then, characters. And then you you didn't do anything with that. Rose. He he built up Rose. Okay. Who was nothing in the next in Thank the next God. Line. Thank God, because no one liked Rose. So why are you gonna include her and put her? In That's a big what I'm part? saying. Why, yes, keep her at the base. For why? God's sake. Why are you gonna like build up these characters for nothing then? Yeah, uh, Ryan killed and then, Snoke. And then you what? go. And then you go back to. So JJ's and gonna do continue. the same crap no. to Ryan. But what? I don't understand what you're saying though. Like what, what I'm trying to tell you is that these these people didn't like fucking put it all together into to where it makes it makes coherent sense. Like okay, you're gonna build up these characters. You're gonna fucking show me the force with some little kid picking up a fucking broom. What happened to all that bullshit? JJ didn't like it. I'm not, oh, bro. Come on. Stop. What do you want me to say? He didn't agree with it, so he didn't include it in this ass movie. Then, then why even do the movie? Then they should have. Hey, they should have. You know hey, what happened to? I I agree the, that there should have been one well, consistent then, director. If you want to continue putting JJ into this, I'm ready to say fuck JJ then because say it then, because he's he's because, the creative mind behind this. No, crap. he's not. He's just the director. He's not one of the writers. the The thing is, bro, is if that you don't think these directors had. No, I'm no. Like he has input. 60, 70 percent of creative. I know creative he has direction input. In these Look, movies, I understand, but you want to keep throwing like you putting JJ in front, like he's the one like defending or saving Star Wars, but he's he not. Is. He's really not. He, he, he came out with a legit. If he, movie. okay, if he really wanted to save Star Wars, he would have pushed for this movie to be delayed for another year. You know no, why? To rework, wouldn't... to rework the 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 writing, and to make sure that this makes fucking sense to end it. And not just fucking, and not just to rush it until the end. It made sense to me. How? He has one movie to tie up all the loose ends. Left. Exactly. He has one movie to tie up one the loose movie. ends. And Why I not could make care sure? care less about Rose or the oh. thief Benicio del Toro. To be honest, like, I don't care about him. 
<laughs> they probably didn't even no, film. I don't care about them either. Like, I'm not saying like that. That's the end of be all about this movie. The point is, is that these, the it's a trilogy, right? It's supposed to be all one piece, but it's not. Like, it's completely not. It's all uh, broken up. And then JJ is trying to like rush it to the end because it's like, fuck it. This is this is it. This is over. This is the last Star Wars mainline movie we're gonna get for a while. I'm just like, this is terrible. I don't know. I liked I liked um, Ray's story. I liked how they incorporated some of. Paul's I like the actors. I like their acting. Yeah. Did not like Ray's story. Did not like Kylo Ren's I story. Liked, I liked Palpatine. Palpatine. The whole, yeah. the whole plugged in and being Into kept the alive. the Matrix bullshit. It looks like he cloned Snoke. Okay, that's cool. Um, I liked... Uh, I like the the connection that okay I give Ryan this he started that force connection between Ray and uh, and Kylo, Kylo yeah and and it, Abrams magnifies on that it gets deeper it yeah. grows stronger yeah they they even battle each other and and while Ray is in Kylo's quarters and and uh, that was tight um, introducing Lando that I didn't like I did not like that he brought he back wasn't Lando. very good he no, wasn't he very was charming. Uh, so that was kind of lackluster in my opinion. Uh, I liked so the battle on the destroyer. Why? Why did it have to be an on ground battle? I, eh, it, 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 you know, introducing the other former stormtroopers that that. Eh. You know what I did like, but they fucked it up pretty quick <laughs> right after that. The the situation where uh, Ray was fighting. Uh, uh, Kylo in the desert area and like there were uh, she was trying to save Chewie from the from yes. being captured such a badass and, part like, she was using the force to like bring back the ship and then mm -hmm. Kylo's trying to like counter that and let the ship go but then she gets so like caught in her emotions that she ends up using the fucking electricity which yeah. is like like you know pr primarily for like people who use the dark side of the force correct and then she ends up blowing up the ship mm -hmm. and like we all assume she kills chewy and i was like <gasps> yeah i know what she fucking killed Chewie, yeah bro. Like, yeah yeah me that too. was fucking awesome it was two or three scenes later i'm back yeah. full i'm good it's all i was like they're like, not gonna kill it was Chewie, so bro. stupid. They should have killed him right it there. It would have been better. If they it would have been better if they did. Yeah, I think the story would have been. It would have been deeper. Like, damn, bro. Yeah. Is she gonna yes. turn to the Way dark deeper. side? Yeah. Like she just killed some a, a freaking one of our the best characters in Star Wars. Is she really gonna turn into a Sith? Like that would have kind of gained more in that aspect. You would have kind of would have yes. second thought it like, hell oh, yeah. Crap. Is Ray really, that would have been an amazing thing to continue, but they did it. Yeah, no, I, I get it. Um, uh, I, the part where she kisses Kyla, the most awkward kiss ever. Yeah. It, <laughs> awkward. Um, I feel like <laughs> I wasn't surprised by it, but I, I was like, either. Oh, I was surprised by it. I wasn't. Um, but I feel it didn't have the the re the emotion behind it to like really like be like oh okay this is like like right because they don't really show any like love well I mean mm. they have a strong connection yes I no mean she was like she was already saying in the movie though that she's like I would take Ben's hand but I ain't taking fucking bitch ass Kylo hand. She was saying that already. Oh, you're right. She, she did say that. that she did say that. And again, with Finn, I have something to tell you. Oh, what oh, is it that you wanted to tell me? He never said it. He never. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, you huh? know, he just he was probably just going to tell her that he wanted to clap Finn, cheeks, bro. Finn, That's what he wanted okay, to tell her. <laughs> kissed Rose in the second movie. Right. Right. Well, no one she liked kissed Rose. him. No one liked Rose. Hell no, nobody. The right. Rose. No. And. The actress, I feel bad for her because it's not her fault. The writing of Rose was so bad. It really was. And her direction, nobody could have salvaged that role. No. No, but there's no one charming out there that would have made Rose a better character. You know who would have? Her sister that died. <laughs> yeah. They should have kept her. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe you're right. But that role was just so badly written. I don't know. Uh, this, this, this film... Uh, Running into Finn to save him, and then she dies. This is how we save the Empire, fighting for each... What? You just no. murked yourself. 
<laughs> for someone who was going to kill themselves. And, oh my, anyways, that's a whole other <laughs> shit. That's the last movie. Um, but, okay, so now you, you take that away. Then he has something to tell to Ray. Yeah. It never comes out. Clap cheeks. Uh-huh. And then you introduce another dif- de- defected, or not defected, uh, someone who left. Oh, the, another another stormtrooper or whatever yeah, that who, left the order. Maybe, but then that doesn't go anywhere. So They never delved into that whole situation whole where Finn, Finn left the order. Even, like, where did he come from? Why did he leave? And he was just and then the whole situation between him and this other person was like, Oh, it just felt wrong. I had a feeling. So we left. Like oh yeah. my god. Yeah, like come on. Whole Finn's storyline is just a loss. Like, man, the first movie is so cool. Hell yeah, this guy left up. the storm. He was a former stormtrooper. Made him look like he's probably gonna be a Jedi or something. Yeah, like. And then all of a sudden, no, he's just nobody. Exactly, he's just <laughs> nobody. And he, if his name is not like, Skywalker, we never heard Solo, what he had to say. GG's in the chat. Nobody cares about. Yeah, him. We, we never heard what he had to say. Really, no one really cares. Um, <laughs> second, the Knights of Ren. <laughs> the most trash never used they were just a waste of space i blame blame ryan johnson on, on that again he yeah. that was yeah. easily jj introduced him in the first movie the second movie is where easy it's he laid it in a platter for you put him in show them introduce them whatever but no ryan doesn't introduce him they talk about him a little the you know the leader of the knights of ren bested by a woman you know that's it like, come on, that the second movie was where you had to put the Knights of Ren in, mm-hmm. make it interesting for that final showdown in the last movie. It's it. You're handing me that, JJ. You're giving me that easy money. I, uh, you're handing it to me. I just gotta lay the f- foundation, and you finish it off in the last movie. No, JJ has to introduce him, and <laughs> the fact that these are. People trained by why aren't they wielding lightsabers too? Why are they wielding like lame ass swords and and uh, uh, like you know, play, like come on, these have to be force sensitive guys too, speaking, right? Speaking of training, let's 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 talk about Ray's tr- like non existing training yeah. and how all of a sudden this is funny because I I, I mean I really didn't pay, pay that much attention to it, but I was watching somebody else's review and they were like talking about how how Ray from the get go. She was like force fucking mind blown genius. She hey, was, that's the way she it was, is. She was already like, like you're going to leave the cell door open and yes. unlock my chain. Yes. She was already uh, outclassing Kylo Ren in, a, in the lightsaber Correct. fight. Correct. She was fucking, fucking up all these red guards, whatever, in that throne room. Uh, you know, Correct. after she was captured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this movie, she's force healing. She's... Uh, She's uh, fucking fighting a fucking uh, uh, one of those space jet thingies from the yeah. Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes into the end of the movie and fucking stops Palpatine's electricity with just one hand, not even two, one hand holding the lightsaber, just blocking the electricity. And Palpatine's been here before. He should have known better. But on top of that, we had just seen Palpatine use his electricity to not only like like use it to try to stop uh kylo and uh and ray but he he like took out like a shit ton of ships that were outside fighting them and but no right right one-handed just paused the fucking electricity she was the most overpowered never got hurt was why why did you make this character like this she was superman bro like literally superman yeah but that's not something you could blame on the last like you said untrained it's been like that since the the beginning she's just way ahead of her of the learning curve she just gets it i think that's kind of like to me that's not nothing new i think they they wanted to do the way they wanted to do it is that since it turns out she was palpatine's granddaughter um they wanted to do where she already had it uh, like bestowed upon yeah. her kind of like i'm pretty sure these people were watching a lot of dragon ball z because you know how the kids in there <laughs> fucking goten and yeah. trunks they already went super saiyan when they were little exactly. kids and it took forever exactly. for uh goku and vegeta to do it i think this is what's happening yeah here. i, I mean these kids are i'm like, not gonna that. go into like did she have enough training how did she she nah, did it i mean i'm just like luke skywalker uh, didn't even want to train her i mean yeah. what did he do I, yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure the other thing they're going to say is that she had the books, so she was just reading the books, and she's like, oh, this is how you do that. Oh, okay, uh, that makes supposedly sense. Supposedly, in the interim, it was Leia training her, yeah. which I would have liked 
to see that. But she died. More, delve deep, uh, obviously. But uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, I, that's not really one of my qualms with the movie. I mean, overall, I like the movie. I feel like there were twists and turns enough to satisfy me. Uh, I feel like the surprises were there to sat- uh, satisfy me. I feel like the movie was funny enough to to get uh, make actually me laugh. that that too. Um, the the characters like Ray, Poe, and Finn when they were all together. Kind of felt off when Poe yes. was there with the other two. Poe didn't really feel like he should have been a part of that group, but they kind of like forced it because he's so popular. And like, like Poe and Finn were good together, but then you see like Ray and Poe like fighting against each other, like arguing and shit. I'm like, uh. yeah, for the love interest stuff. Like at first, I'm thinking, oh, is Poe and Rain like they're bickering like a married couple? Is that gonna happen? And then you got Finn, like, I want to tell you something. Doesn't tell me something. And then in the end, you ended up with Kylo, like, uh, that. I'm just kind of like, what was the point? Of, uh, whatever. Uh, I I did li- I did like the movie though. Uh, mm-hmm. And they they you know some of the scenes are pretty badass in the water world where. You end up back at the old destroyer that the, that was the star. the Return of the Jedi the Death Star yeah um and that's where you know Palpatine f- fought Luke mm-hmm. and you know Luke rescued Darth so to end up back at that shit was pretty cool um overall yeah man I liked it I liked it much better than uh the last the last uh, Jedi for sure mm-hmm. uh, I think. JJ, like I said, did a great job with what he had. I'm gonna give it a 8.6. Oh fuck no! This is 8.6. A fu- Solid this is movie, fun. Three out of ten. Three out of three fucking out of 10. ten. Oh wow, okay. It's bad. Oh, it's, I don't think so. It's not well put together. It was rushed. Uh, JJ came in late. They didn't want to like push back the release date because of like the order of everything they had planned out. It it was a mess. They did not do a good job. Some of the CGI felt really like awkward. I was like, oh, you can obviously fucking tell they didn't work too much on it. Um, the pacing is too fast. Uh, there was a lot of shit that was like, I hope you read like a book or whatever prior to this, like all the Star Wars lore to understand what was going on. Mm, um, this movie does not make sense. Why is there like a bunch of like fucking Sith with Palpatine when you've, I think, their whole thing is like they're not work they don't work together like that i mean this whole movie is just it's supposed to be the end of the uh, skywalker saga the end of this whole like three trilogy shits and it was just it was bad the fucking whenever like even whenever what's his name came in lando came in with all those other like ships and everything it was like an egregious amount of ships of people like trying to come and help like that felt awkward and wrong like like, where were all these people? You know what I mean? Like, it's just, the movie was just not well put together. If they would have spent more time with it, I think it would have been better. Better, They would have made it longer, it would have been better. And I guess, like, it's just being me being a fanboy with this. Like, like I grew up on the Star Wars uh, uh, movies and whatnot. I don't like, like, the sight stuff. I'm not really into that. Um, it's just, I don't know. It sucks. This is how it's going to end for now. Um, we'll see for the next trilogy, which is, like, I don't know, years from now. I don't know how long because even Mark Hamill was saying like everybody's kind of like Star Wars out <laughs> like let's yeah. take a chill pill on it for a little bit. But yeah, right now I absolutely hate it. I think it's one of the worst uh, Star Wars movies, but I don't know. Maybe my opinions would change because even even after I saw it, I was super like, oh, fuck, I really want to like it, but I don't. And then the more I thought about it, I'm just like, Mm-mm. no, to say this is. Uh, it's for sure b- better than the prequels and it's better than The Last Jedi. I think Force Awakens b- ekes, it beats this one out. But, uh, yeah, to say it's worse than those, uh, I think, yeah, I don't agree with that. But, um, uh, but yeah, no, I liked it. I think it's a good... J.J. did what he could. Uh, I liked the twist. Ray and Kylo together. Every scene where they were together, it was badass. Um, yeah, man. Uh and as as you can see, it's it's a divisive movie, um, and I've seen that online. You I, have I blame Ryan Johnson. People that like it, I I blame Ryan Johnson as well. You have people <laughs> that like it and uh, people that don't, and so yeah, I I don't think that's gonna change 
uh, this trilogy, I think, will live on in infamy as the most divisive because you have people that really like some of the directions the trilogy's taken and some people that don't. Uh, at, at least we can all agree the prequels were terrible, but here... In this trilogy, we're... No, after seeing this one, it's my favorite saga. Yeah, no. The originals are the best ones. No, one, two, and three were good. Uh, four, five, and six. Are, I don't. I, I didn't like Return of the Jedi. I thought that was kind of like slow and boring. That's you're, fine. You're pretty much just waiting trilogy. for for Luke to yeah. uh, either save, kill, whatever his dad, but... Nah. But it, it was the best trilogy. No. Uh, but uh, yeah, so... Uh, it, it's very divisive, and we'll see, we'll see what... People think years from now, uh, uh, when we look back at this trilogy, because perspectives change, you know, uh, so we'll see. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but uh, I like this last one, uh, like I said, much better than The Last Jedi. Okay. But yeah, 8.5, you gave it a 3. Uh, uh, no, I gave it 8.6. You gave it 3 point. Three, just three. Okay. three out of, I don't do points. Oh, okay, 3.0. Three point, three three point All right, guys, that's been our show, our review. Very uh, controversial uh, trilogy. Uh, tell us what you guys think. Rate it down here in the comments. Share, subscribe, like. Let us know. Did you hate this movie? Did you like it? Uh, do you hate Ray? Do you love Rose <laughs> for some reason? Let us know. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to follow us on the Apple Podcast. We got the three-way podcast that comes out every week on Monday. So make sure you follow that for all the weekly news. But thank you guys for watching. May the force be with you. Peace. Wow. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.